And if picked yesterday is still not fresh enough for you, you should look into taking part in a community garden, like the one that the Port Moody Police Department and the Coquitlam Farmers Market Society just recently opened in Port Moody. So this is the brand new Port Moody Police Department Community Garden and it's a partnership between the Port Moody Police Department and the Coquitlam Farmers Market Society um, and we've had support from the City of Port Moody as well. And it's a 40 plot community garden that we um, have been in the process of building over the last couple of years and we finally managed to get it on the ground and things are growing now. So it's a permanent uh, location here beside the police department. It's the first of its kind in North America that we've been able to find at least in terms of a police department being the initiators of having a community garden as part of one of their initiatives. Um, and it's, we really think it's going to be a great way for the community to uh, get to meet each other, to interact with each other, and also it's a very interesting dynamic for the way of the police department to be able to interact with the members of the community as well. So um, we've got some programming happening with SHARE and the food bank, and we're going to be working with their community kitchen, so they're going to be growing some food here and learning about the whole cycle of how you grow food to, uh, or planting it, to growing it, to harvesting it, preparing it, eating it, and even doing some canning and, and uh, preservation of it as well. And then we'll also have some kids programming where we have some pro, uh, seniors and children coming together and doing some intergenerational learning. And that's sort of a program that we're going to develop over the next few months and hopefully have running throughout the summer. We would love to see more community gardens happen. Um, this is a great starting point for a wider discussion around food security that every city should be having. Um, and it's a, this is perfect that the, the, the city is so willing to have a community garden here. Um, I think that it's a wonderful asset to have and that there is a demonstrated need. And if we have a, a, a large enough need to shown, um, then we can probably look at expanding and doing some others. There's, lots of vacant land and there's lots of little corners that community gardens can be put together on so yeah I think in the future we should hopefully see some more of these pop up in and around the city.